farm in Oneida is talking about the importance of agriculture all while working to feed people. Your Oneida neighborhood reporter Katie Shiro visited the farm today to learn about their mission. Weekly we send 150 pounds of clean corn over to our cannery so they can you know produce what we need to feed the community and we'll go through each one one by one taking out you know the broken pieces or ones that might not look right then when we have enough We'll push it down into the clean bucket. One of the most important crops that they grow here on this farm is this white corn, and they grow 11 acres of it. This farm is Junhegwa Agriculture. Crystal Danforth works on the farm and says it's been around for more than 20 years, and it's filled a big community need. Junhegwa here means life sustenance. We um, provide the food for our, our people in the community, and we also do workshops and with elders and kids and stuff like that. Danforth says besides the traditional white corn, beef, eggs, and other vegetables can be found on the farm. And another tradition tobacco leaves. For us as an indigenous people, the meaning of tobacco for us is our prayers. That's how our prayers are sent up in the smoke that we give and the smoke brings our prayers right up to the creator. She says the goals of the farm are to educate others on these traditions and feed the community. We grow the food, we provide the food, and then we, we give the food to the Oneida cannery. Cannery produces that food and you know, gives it out to our community and everywhere it needs. And to live by an important mantra. Food is health. If we can get back to our traditional ways, our traditional foods, our healthy foods, it, it can help heal. Vanessa Miller says she agrees. We know definitely the immediate nutritional health benefits that come from a return to our indigenous diets, um, but the mental health, spiritual health, and economic health positive implications that come from um, really strengthening our local food system. Danforth says anyone is embraced with open arms to stop by the farm to help or just learn more. The best gift I have is actually just giving back what I what I'm taking and what I learn. In Oneida, Katie Shiro, NBC 26.